Oh, hi. Welcome to Bobby's World. I'm Howie. <laughs> Bobby, you're a big boy now. Why don't you start the show? <laughs> Howie? I'm not such a big boy. I was just body trained two years ago. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget that. That was a that was a tough time for you, young man. Oh, no. ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Why don't you tell him about it? But that's personal, Howie. Okay. But you people at home have to promise not to tell anyone, okay? See, what happened was, every time my mommy would put me on the potty, I would cry. I would. And then one day my mommy asked me, she said, Bobby, how come every time I put you on the potty, you cry? And I told my mommy, it's my potty, and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. <laughs> It's 6 a.m., and welcome to the dawn edition of Wake Up, America. Hey, Roger. We've been awake ever since Captain Squash's hands were like this. Wonder what's taking everybody else so long to wake up. Uh-oh. What if they sleep all day? What if they forget all about that this is my first day of school? What if they forget and sleep forever and I never ever in my whole life get to go to school? The first day of school is here! The first day of school is here! Derek! Kelly! You'd better get a move on if you don't want to be late for school, don't you know? Oh, hi, hon. Uh, honey, morning sickness again? Yeah, bingo, Howard. Oh, oof, duh. this being pregnant, oh, it just doesn't seem right. Oh, you're feeling a little queasy, huh? Oh, yeah, everything in my G-gosh stomach is sliding around like tapioca in a hefty bag. All I want is to sit here for a minute, you know? Just nice and quiet. Mommy! 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 <laughs> Mommy! What? What is it now? Oh. Bobby. Bobby! That's my name. You know what today is, Dad? Uh-huh. Yeah, Dad? Ooh, sure, it's, uh, it's your first day of preschool. Yep, going to school. You know what that means, don't you? You're on your way to becoming one of the big kids now, Bobbo. Hear that, Webley? I'm big now. Oh, Bobby, you got to change that crazy outfit you've got on there. I have your school clothes all laid out for you on your bed. I wonder when it is that boys are big enough to dress themselves. Oh, and a uh, Howard, I put a nice shirt and tie out for you too, don't you know? I guess never. Well, for crying in the mud, what is all that noise? It's Captain Squire. She said right on the box, noisy cereal on the plate. Um, Mom, there's like no way that I can eat right now, okay? Like, I am too upset. Yeah, for corn sakes, you are always upset. <laughs> look, 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 look at this outfit. What if, like, nobody in the whole school is, like, wearing one like it? Can I be a pilot or a guy who makes puppet stock? Oh, no! Uh, what if everybody is wearing one just like it? Uh, what if it's just the geeks? Dad, when I grew up, could I maybe be an old Japanese man in big boots 
and a red skirt makes leaves dance? That's it. Little Furball's gone right over the edge. Oh, Howard, did you hear that? Doesn't our Bobby just have the wildest gee golly imagination you tell now? Bobby? Like, you're my little brother, right? And, and like, I love you, right? Okay, so like, I'm gonna give it to you straight. School is like a total nightmare. It is? Okay, start with teachers. Like Mr. Chalmers, my old math teacher, total loser. The man had like silly putty for brains. Old Lady Gooch, her breath could send a mule. Are you hip? Oh, oh yeah, and Kowalski, our principal, she is like a total bat out of you nowhere. Nowhere. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter, because school will be the beginning of the end for you, scuzzlump. It will not. Oh yeah? What if nobody likes you? What if you don't have any friends? What if they treat you like you're invisible? Ah, run, children! Run for your lives! It's the invisible student! Wait! Don't go! I just want to be friends! The library. I'll go in there. Mom says a good book is like an old friend. Hi. Want to be friends? taking you to school. You really think I'm gonna like school, Uncle Ted? Trust me, Bobbo, it's gonna be great. What? <laughs> ah! Uncle Ted, help! <laughs> Hi there. I'm your preschool teacher, Sonny. Look who's here, everybody. It's Bobby. The only one in the class who's late! to take roll. We? I must need an education. I don't understand anything he's talking about. Morgan. Present. Bobby. I want a present, too. Oh, Bobby. We weren't paying attention. Let's give it another try. Bobby. What? Bobby. What? Bobby. What? Are we here? I don't know. Who's we? You know, I came here to learn things, but this we stuff is really getting confusing. Now we're going to play with the boom, 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 big blocks. Blocks are my favorite. <laughs> sort of makes you wonder what kind of person is attracted to a job like this, doesn't it? See? Isn't this fun? Ooh, but be careful now. Okay, now, Bobby, why don't we? Play over here. Why don't we play over here? My little Parker has lost his stuffed bunny. I want to know where it's gone, and I want to know now. Mm hmm. Well, let's see. Let's put on our thinking caps and see if we can figure out hmm, where it is. <laughs> oh, why 
wake up and smell the apple juice, Sonny. Somebody took it! Your Honor, my client is innocent! Hey, Your Honor, no fair. He can't be a lawyer. He hasn't been to school. Oh, contraire. We have not only been to school, we have been there for almost an hour. I think that we stuff will confuse him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a disgusting and vicious crime has been committed here. An innocent child stuffed bunny has been stolen. <laughs> and we have heard testimony that everybody looked all over the lower parts of the classroom. Which proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that the stolen bunny must be hidden somewhere up high. That, Your Honor, proves my client didn't steal the bunny. To hide something up high, you have to climb. Aha! Uh -huh. And the only things to climb on are the big blocks. And if you do that, you will fall. Aha! Uh -huh. Learn that in school. Aha! That proves it. Your client is guilty. It does? That bunny was taken by somebody who didn't have to climb. By somebody big. And that somebody is Bobby's client. My client is innocent, Your Honor. Innocent, I tell you! He's guilty, and I can prove it. Well, for corn's sakes, hurry up and do it. All this gee-gosh bickering is making my blasted head hurt. Your Honor, I call for the suspects to line up according to height. You think Uncle Ted's a suspect? He was in the room, and he likes bunnies. Not stuffed ones, Bonehead. Suspect number three, Bobby's client. See, he's the biggest. He took the bunny. That proves it. Does not. Does two. Does not. Does two. Does not infinity. Bobby, do you know how to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it does not infinity? No. Then what you need is some more school. And a little boost. There you go, Bobbo. That's all you needed. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Ted. Oh, no problem, buddy. That's what uncles are for. Have a great time, Bobbo. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't think we've had the pleasure. Wait! Hey, wait! Wait! Help! I, I can't get down! Please! Help! Uh, 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 hold on, Bobbo. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, uh, hockey shockers, little buddy. Uh, sorry to leave you hanging like that. Uh, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I heard the recess bell, and I just followed everybody else into class. <laughs> well, actually, I was following that very charming nanny over there. <laughs> well, before I knew it hit me, Sonny had us all finger painting. Thanks, anyways. Ha, ah, Uncle Ted. Ooh, oh, sorry. Uh, right. Uh, oh, jeez. Boy, is that finger painting stuff fun! Look at that. Finger painting time is over. Oh, come on! Oh, five more minutes! Just five more minutes! No, 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 no. Now, it's clay time! Clay, <laughs> clay, clay! Yeah. are doing great. Wow! Look at all the neat stuff you made. So, Sonny, uh, come on, uh, what do you think? Uh, is it art or is it art? Hey, nice bunny. Bunny? Did Uncle Ted say bunny? That's exactly what he said, and it proves your client is guilty. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, why did Bobby's client make a clay bunny? Yeah. It's obvious. He was thinking about the bunny he stole. Oh. There's only one thing to do. Throw the book at him. No! Wait! Before you throw the books, just stop and take a look at my I'm a little teapot. Pow, 
short and stout. Here is my wow handle. Here is my spout, 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 spout. I'm a little spider. Inky dinky spider. Itsy bitsy spider. Climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that wacky cuckoo spider out. Oh, there was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. Oh, he had a crooked six pack. Six packs, that crazy teapot was. I'm a little teapot, short, short, and stout. Wow, here is my handle. It's cool. Here is my spout. Oh, spout, 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 spout. Itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that little old spider out. It washed him right down to the crooked man. There was a crooked man who had a crooked house, who had a crooked six pants, and had a crooked mouse. He walked a crooked mile. He had a crooked mile. He's a wacky crooked. I just love to sing, don't you? No. Well, now that you've seen him, what is your verdict? Not guilty. By reason of insanity. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye-bye. You know, Uncle Ted, I'm really tired. School way out, Babo. Nope. Sunny did. Oh, now, honey, I want you to tell me all about your first day of school. Oh, it was wild. Just, mm, mm, wait till I show you the great finger painting I did. Mm, mm. I was talking to Bobby Tit. Yes. Uh, what, for what? pity's sake, stop that out now. I got to have this cake ready for the baby shower I'm going to this afternoon. Mrs. Blended of the Blended family, you know, well, she's got a bun in the oven, too. And I want to make this cake just real nice and special for her. Oh! Oh, for gosh sakes, I'm all out of green food coloring. How am I going to make the leaves on the G-Gosh flowers? I've got the blue here. I've got the purple. I've got yellow, but no green. Oh! God, Mom. this Mom. is awful, huh? Mom. Oh, golly darn, it's gonna ruin everything. Mom? Mom? Yeah? We know what you can do. Oh, 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 honey, I gotta have the cake there in 15 minutes and there's nothing I can do. It's... Yes, there is. What? We can take the yellow and we can take the blue and we will make green. Oh, Bobby, for corn sakes, you are right. You're my little chemist hero, don't you know? Isn't education great? We rest my case. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of our show, and I want to try something different now. I'm going to try ventriloquism. Can you say that? Doesn't matter. All right, this is, this is Ben. And, okay, that button moves his eyes. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> and, and this button, what does this do? Oh, that moves your mouth, okay. And what does this button do? Woo! <laughs> anyway, there's Ben saying goodbye, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody! What'd you say? I said, bye, everybody! <laughs> Dude, is that good, Bobby? I can do it better. I just happen to have a puppet with me, too. Can the camera come in a little closer? Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching Bobby's World. See that, Howie? I'm better than you. I should be a Ben and Dukas. Ben Dukas, Ben Trinicus, Ben Dukas. Well, you know, a guy that can make puppets talk. Goodbye. I still can't move my lips. They're not moving. They're just staying still. I can't. Help me. Help me. Somebody help me. I sent the animator home early. <laughs> <laughs>